Paul Phoenix is a heavy hitter character that specializes on scoring big damage with some of the scariest attacks in the game. His most iconic attack, the Phoenix Smasher, is a fast, long range, super damaging mid that is now also an hit engager. While this move is absolutely not safe on block, the sheer speed combined with the pushback on block makes it hard for a lot of players to react to it, if they are not expecting it. When the opponent is cornered, this move becomes even more of a threat due to the consequential wall splat. Paul actually excels at the wall, thanks to his plethora of wall splatting throws and the Demolition Man, which requires a clean hit to trip the opponent. Paul can also try to stay more safe using his rubber band attack, which is a less rewarding but also less committal Phoenix Smasher, which he complements really well with his new attack Stone Lion preventing the opponent to try and get away from the wall by sidestepping. And if your opponent thinks to get out by mashing quick pokes, Paul can shut down that immediately with his safe high wall splatting power crush. However, these are just some of the tools Paul can unleash in these situations, making his wall pressure absolutely insane. Tools such as Hammer of the God and Moonfall can be used to gain advantage on block and frame trapping the opponent in case he tries to retaliate. Shoot the Moon is a powerful Oki tool that also launches if the opponent tries to use get-up kicks on the ground. To close distance with the opponent, Paul can try to apply his Neutron Bomb. Even though quite linear, even the smallest mistake spells disaster, being a natural hit launcher and also quite hard to whiff punish. Also, this move can give Paul severe advantage on block, depending at what range the move was guarded. For this reason, it's better to generally respect Neutron Bomb on block. Poking is probably one of the few departments where Paul doesn't do so well. The range on his left jab leaves a lot to be desired, and his downford one is one frame slower than a typical downford one. However, from his downford one, it is possible to transition into backsway stance, gaining big plus frames on block. From backsway, he can also access to a big variety of powerful follow-ups. If the opponent tries to contest, Paul can try to score a counter it with his Lion's Roar, which leads to massive damage and is also incredibly hard to deal with since the window of opportunity to duck the second hit is really small and the third hit comes out so quickly that it can easily interrupt your wall standing punishments if you are not fast enough. When it comes to lows, Pumping Pedal and Gengetsu are a force to be reckoned with. Pumping Pedal is a long range minus 12 low with good damage and good plus frames on hit that gives a guaranteed follow up on counter it. At the wall, it turns into a 50 damage wall splat. Gengetsu, on the other hand, sacrifices a little bit of extra safety for good evasion and it also gives a guaranteed follow up on counter it. Thanks to his new addition, Tiger Claw, Paul can now control the neutral more effectively and prevent the opponent from overextending. If blocked, Paul is still free to move around, being only at minus 2, while Mountain Raze is a very evasive, long range, safe counter hit launcher that on regular hit gives a guaranteed follow up. Bruster is Paul's main whiff punisher, outside from being safe on block at minus 4 is also incredibly slippery, going under a lot of highs. In case the opponent recovers in crouch though, a good old Phoenix Smasher will make the job done. When pressured, Paul can use his jab roundhouse as a 10 frame counter it tool, or his standing 4 that gives a guaranteed follow up on counter it. In case you didn't already notice, for a big dude, Paul is actually very evasive and his right uppercut can slip under certain highs while also being safe on block. Hopkick is also a viable option as a fast low crushing launcher. In case of high disadvantage, Paul can rely on his generic parry or on more evasive attacks like his shoulder tackle. To prevent the opponent to safely approach, Paul can use his Kawaragoma to intercept the opponent while running in. However, this move is a high, so some characters might try to slip under it if they have the appropriate tools for the job. Worth mentioning, in Heat, Phoenix Smasher becomes only minus 13 on block with big pushback, while his Hammer Punch into Phoenix Smasher becomes a guard break if the second hit is fully charged. 
Overall, Paul is an extremely strong character with very few weaknesses. While he might struggle in certain matchups against more evasive characters that can chip away at his health bar, he still remains extremely solid and a tough character to deal with for most of the roster.